Hi everyone, this is Gary Tonnenkort from morethanasnapshot.com and I've been wanting to start this series of really simple videos with some very basic Photoshop tips. So in this first one I'm just going to talk about the basic layout of Photoshop. So up here we have of course our main menu system that has every option that Photoshop has and so you'll be referring to that section very often. Next on the left side you have a toolbar and this toolbar has an option up here this little double arrow and I can make it very thin or I can make it a little fatter and include uh, more buttons visible at any one time and when you select a button or a tool really you have a tools option bar across the top so for whatever tool you pick there are options that you can change to change the effect of that tool. Alright, as we move around you can see that there are rulers at the top and on the side and you can use those to help when making a design to place their things in exactly the right spot. You can do things like drag out guides and I'll show you that in a later lesson. Um, under the options bar you have the little tab for the picture you have open. If you had more than one design or picture open there'd be several tabs here. It shows you the name of the photo, what percent you're zoomed into, what color space, in this case RGB, and what bit depth. So this is a JPEG, it's an 8-bit file. And of course you have a little X here, you could close this image and leave the rest of the program open. Down at the bottom again it shows you the zoom level and it shows you um, a little icon for sharing on their sharing network called Behance. And it also tells you about the size of the document uh, in megapixels. So um, this is a 63 megabyte file. Um, here are some other options. We don't need to get into those at the moment. Um, on this side we have another little toolbar. Again, I can click it to expand it and see more options or close it. And as I click on each one, it will bring out just that one panel. So in this case, I have a history, whoops, and an actions section. Here I have just the actions, properties and info. Here's just info and clone sourcing. Now this bar could change based on whatever you select to be in this bar. And uh, we'll get to that when we look at creating workspaces. So every different workspace, which is listed here, is going to have different stuff on this side. So this is the photography workspace. You see things like a histogram, image adjustments, layers, Whereas if I change it to, let's say, a typography workspace, you see that it changes to all the options for text. And it looks very different. So I'll put it back for now into the photography one. Here's where our layers would be. And um, we'll explain later layers in another image also, another lesson, I mean. And you would build up your layers to, um, you know, for whatever design or editing you're doing. You also have channels and paths. So I just wanted to in this lesson keep it very simple to give you the basic layout and uh, not really get into too much of the details. And then <clears throat> next lesson we'll look at something else. And again I'm just going to keep it very simple. So thank you for watching. This has been Gary D. Tonicourt for more than a snapshot.com. If you like this lesson please share it and like it. And I uh, we'll hope to see you in the next lesson.